What's up guys? Got a ride one up bike in the stand today. A customer came in because he got a nail in his tire. Generally most e-bikes don't come with a puncture resistance tire option and they also for whatever reason tend to come with knobby tires which is incredibly inefficient for riding on the road and that's what I find most people are doing. So what we're going to do is swap over some of these CST tires onto this rig. Um, these are a puncture resistant option. They're going to roll a lot smoother than these knobby tires and likely increase the efficiency of the e-bike allowing the customer to go further on a single charge. Changing the tire on the back is a little bit of a pain. Uh, you have to make sure you disconnect the actual motor cable and be sure to check that there's nothing that's going to interfere with dropping the wheel out of the rear drop inlets. Most tires do have an orientation. You can kind of see this one has arrows kind of facing forward. It's always going to be notated on the side of the tire which direction is forward for the tire. Now that we got this all inflated and aired up, put it back on, make sure the disc brake isn't rubbing, and we'll put it all back together, replug the, tape, the cable back in, and we'll move on to the front. Most front tires are pretty easy to change. You generally have a quick release like this or just two bolts on either side. It makes it super simple to take off. Um, we are going to change out this rim strip or at least put something underneath. This uh, adhesive tape is great. It doesn't shift around and we're just going to toss the old rim strip over top just for some added protection over the years. Um, surprisingly, tubes can pop from the inside if you didn't know. And it's just one of those things that if you have a good rim strip on there, you don't really have to worry about. Now that the wheel's back on, just double check the disc brake is moving properly. And then we're also just gonna check to make sure the throttle and the pedal assist is working on this back, and it is. And here's the finished bike. The two new tires on there. This bike's gonna roll a lot smoother around town. Again, knobby mountain tires, not appropriate for the streets.